In this problem, we're asked to write a class textbook, which is a subclass of book, and we've got these different methods we need to write, and maybe we need to add an instance variable somewhere. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So um, when it says that the class textbook is a subclass of book, we know that means that we're going to have to start off our class with public class textbook extends book, right? And then um, all the code we're gonna wanna write are, is gonna be within these curly braces. So um, remember that when a class is a subclass of a book, it inherits any instance variables that the parent class has. So um, despite the fact that a textbook also has a title and a price, we don't actually need to declare them inside of our textbook class because those exist within the book class. So um, there is, however, one piece of information that differentiates a textbook from a book, and that is the addition number, right? So we're gonna want to probably have an instance variable for that. So let's add that private. This will be an int description references it as a positive integer. So private int, um, let's call it addition, um, right? Uh, we can add a comment if we want the edition of the book. Cool. We have that. We're going to want a constructor for this cl textbook class as well, just like we have one in our book class. So public textbook. And how do we create a textbook well it's very similar to the book where we need to pass in the book title the book price but there's one more piece of information and that's that edition number so um, we're gonna have int edition num so these are all the things that you have to pass into the constructor when you're creating a new textbook object um, and then we might be tempted to, you know, do something like this dot book title equals book title, but we don't actually want to do that. And the reason why is because we're doing all this logic inside of our book constructor, right? The implementation isn't shown, but you can sort of assume that what we're doing is we're setting this title equal to this value and this price equal to this book price. So instead of doing this, we can do what's called a super call and this calls the constructor of the parent class. So all we need to do is pass in the book title, the book price, like that. And we've initialized the title and the price for our textbook, which is pretty sweet. Um, but we're not quite done there yet. We also need to initialize our addition num instance variable. So making sure that we're using this dot addition num to, spe to um, specify that we're talking about the instance variable we can say this addition num equals addition num, where we're talking about the parameter that's being passed into the constructor. So if you wanted to make this a little bit less confusing, you could call this addition a different thing like textbook addition number or something. But you know, I don't know. I just like using this. Okay, so we've got our constructor out of the way. Um, we've got our addition number set up. Now let's take a look at the description again. What else do we need? I noticed that within the description, it says that we're going to have to be um, comparing two different textbooks to see if one can substitute for the other. So um, we've got our constructor built out. If you look within the description of the problem, we're also going to want to create a getter for our addition number. So this is going to be a public method. It's going to return an int and it's going to be called get addition. It doesn't take any parameters and it just returns this dot addition number. Cool. We've got something called can substitute for this method returns a boolean either true or false um, based on if the textbook that's passed in can substitute for our the current textbook we're looking at so can substitute for gets passed in a textbook uh, let's call it other okay so there are two things that we're looking for to determine if one textbook can substitute for the other. The first one is whether they have the same title. The second one is whether the addition of the current textbook is greater than or equal to the addition of the parameter. So um, 
we can write this out many different ways. Let's say, let's break it down. So Boolean, same title. What we're gonna do is call this dot get title to get the title of our current textbook that we're looking at. Since this returns a string, we can't do equals equal. Remember that's restricted to primitive values. So we're gonna to need to do dot equals. And then we want to compare that to the other textbooks title. So we'll wanna do other dot get title. Okay, so we've determined if it has the same title or not. Cool. Now we'll have another Boolean for if whether the addition is valid. So description says the current textbooks edition is greater than or equal to the addition of the parameter. So what we're going to want to do is we want to call this dot get edition and then have that greater than or equal to sign and then other dot get edition. Cool. Um, so for each of these two textbooks, we're calling the get edition and comparing them. And if it's greater than or equal to, then we can say that it can substitute for it. So now we said that we wanted both of those to be true. So we'll say return same title and is addition, is addition valid? Let me rename this, <laughs> is addition valid? Um, you could also just inline all of this. So say like return this socket title equals and this socket addition is greater than great um, other docket addition. Sometimes I like writing it out a bit more descriptively, but I don't know, you can do whatever you want. Cool, so we've got the can substitute method written out. Next, we have get book info, which you might know, notice that our parent class also has, but our get book info for our textbook is a bit different because we're also including the addition. So you might be tempted to write something public string get book info. You might be tempted to do something like this where you're, you know, concatenating all these things together. Dot addition. You could do this technically, but what we really want to do here is take advantage of the fact that the get book info of the parent has the first two pieces that we need, or three if you're counting this dash. So we should just be calling super.getInfo. So we can replace this with super.getBookInfo. So that will return title dash price. Then we add in that second dash and we add in the addition. So now we've actually written less code. We've had to do less thinking using this super call. Awesome. So that is what our textbook class looks like. You might be tempted to move on to the next problem. I always urge you not to. What we should be doing here is checking our code to the expected outcome of it. So if you look at the next page, we, there's a table of different code executions. So let's go through them one by one. So in, the, in this first statement, we're creating a new textbook. So um, we're expecting a string for the book title. Yep, we're expecting a double for the book price and we're expecting an int for the addition number, cool. And what we do is we initialize each of our instance variables. So the book title as inherited from the parent class and the book price also as inherited from the book price from the parent class. And then the addition number, which is specific to our textbook. Cool. The same thing's true for the second statement where we're just creating um, another book. The third statement we're calling get addition. And remember this is on the textbook bio 2019 and we set the addition number to the one that was passed in in our constructor so that would return three when we call get addition get book info for bio 209 will return if we have these things as our biology 39.75 get book info will call the super method which will return the title biology and then a dash and then the price which is 39.75 and then it will append another dash and then the addition of that textbook which is three so that is exactly what is expected to return so it looks like get book info looks great next we're looking at bio 2019 whether it can substitute for bio 2015 so let's compare these things so um 
Since we're calling this method on the bio 2019 object, the first title is going to be biology. And then the title of bio 2015 is also biology. So this first case is true. Then we're checking those addition numbers. So for bio 2019, the addition number is three. And then for bio 2015, the addition number is two. And that is greater than or equal to three is greater than or equal to two. So this will return true. And that is exactly correct. That is true. All right, then on the next statement, we do something kind of fun. We swap around the two textbooks. So now we're calling the can substitute for method on the bio 2015 object instead of the bio 2019. So we might have a different outcome. So the two titles are still biology and biology. So that's still true. But then when we look at the addition number of bio 2015, that's now two. And when we're comparing that to the addition number of bio 2019, this is no longer true, it's false. And since we needed both of those booleans to be true, we get false here, which is exactly true according to the statement. All right, and then we create this new textbook, this math textbook, and then we see if we can substitute it for a biology textbook. Just using common sense, you might be like, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. And you'll be very happy to see that, no, it doesn't make sense, right? So since we're calling the can substitute for method on bio 2015, this first get title will be biology. And then we're, we're calling get title on the parameter passed in, which would be the math textbook. So does biology equal calculus? This is false. So um, we don't even technically need to check this as we're like trying out our code. We could if we want to, but the reason why we don't have to is because we needed both of those Booleans to be true. So false and anything else, true or false, will evaluate to false. So we get false here, which is correct. So that is the textbook class. We were able to write out the constructor, get addition, can substitute for, and get book info, and then also double checking it with the sample code execution.